Richard Poussaint Dart was born in St. Paul, Minnesota in 1916. He was raised in an artistic environment, as his mother was a poet and his father a painter, as well as the director of the St. Paul Institute of Arts and Sciences. This early exposure helped him pursue art throughout his life. In his youth, his family moved to Valhalla, New York, where he grew up and his passion for the visual arts was shaped. In 1936, he decided to attend Bard College, but quickly dropped out and moved to New York to pursue full-time painting and sculpture. From 1936 to 1940, he lived in New York City and worked as an office clerk and bookkeeper, but devoted his evenings to painting and drawing. In 1940, he finally began working as a full-time painter. Like many artists in New York, his ideas about art were influenced by visits to the Museum of Modern Art and the American Museum of Natural History. His early paintings turned away from realism and instead were composed of biomorphic and geometric abstract scenes that were influenced by Freudian and Jungian symbolism and native art. In 1941, Richard Bousset Dart had his first solo exhibition of a painting at the Artist Gallery in New York, which was one year after he completed the painting Desert. Then, in 1942, he painted what many consider to be the first grand scale work in abstract expressionism. It was titled Symphony No. 1, The Transcendental. It was so large that it actually could not be displayed where it was originally intended at the Willard Gallery. This work was the first mural sized painting by the artist group that Richard Poussette Dart now belonged to, which was called the New York School Artists. Throughout the 1940s, he showed his organic and abstract work at Peggy Guggenheim's Art of the Century Gallery and at the Betty Parsons Gallery. During this time, he was also an active fine art photographer with his works first exhibited at the Betty Parsons Gallery in 1948. In 1953, he was awarded third prize in Photography Magazine's International Picture Contest. Richard Bousset Dart quickly rose to prominence as one of New York's leading abstract painters. In 1955, an article in the Art News proclaimed Poussette Dart as one of the most original and solitary artists we have around. During this time, he and his wife, poet Evelyn Gracie, whom he married in 1946, moved to Rockland County, New York, which was surprising due to the success he was experiencing in his career. In the late 1950s, Poussette Dart's artistic trajectory took a new direction as he moved away from the pure abstraction of his earlier works. Exploring form, he experimented with rougher, heavier marks and built up thick stucco-like surfaces of expressive color. By the 1960s, his exploration grew to large-scale paintings that captured a sense of cosmic unity and transcendence. In his later years as an artist, during the 1970s till his death, Richard Pissette Dart explored themes of spirituality and space. His work in large-scale paintings continued through the 1970s, but later simplified into pointillistic compositions, suggesting exploding stars, planets, and the depths of infinite space. Poussette Dart continued to work as an artist for the rest of his life until his death in New York on October 25, 1992, at the age of 76. In addition to painting, Richard Poussette Dart also taught at a variety of schools. From 1950 to 1961, he taught painting at the New School for Social Research. Following this, he held positions at Columbia University, Sarah Lawrence College, the Art Students League, and Bard College. While not possessing the most lasting legacy, Richard Poussette Dart has had many retrospective exhibitions held in his name and ultimately influenced many artists. He was a temperate man and less influenced by the New York pub scene than many of his fellow New York school artists at the time. In 2013, the Richard Poussette Dart Foundation was established, and in 2019, the Richard Poussette Dart House and Studio in Suffern, New York was listed on the U.S. National Park Service's National Register of Historic Places, continuing his legacy through today. Thank you.